Hey everybody, it's Jules, and I just wanted to post a really quick video. Um, there seems to be like this influx of um, suicide due to mental illness, and I just wanted to do a video to somebody who might need this. Maybe you're just scrolling through YouTube and you're looking for an answer, you're looking for hope. And I just want to challenge you before you do anything permanent <clears throat> to just take a second and think if your life was perfect if everything with a snap of a finger could be perfect every problem and issue that is causing you pain if it could just disappear and everything would be great if your heart wasn't broken, if, if your job situation was better, if your financial situation was better, if your living situation was better, if, you're just, if your life all around was better, if you could just figure things out, if everything, if you could just snap your finger and everything would be the way you wanted it to be, would you still wanna give up on your life? If the answer is, well, no, that's a sign right there that you do not need to leave this earth. And even if your answer is still, yes, I wanna go, I just wanna tell you, you are loved and you are special. And there's a reason you, you were put on this earth. There's somebody on this earth that needs what you have to offer. And there's something in your heart that you've always wanted to do. I know it. There's some place you've always wanted to travel to. There's a book you've always wanted to write. There's a song you've always wanted to sing. There's something that you've always wanted to cook. You maybe you've always wanted to act or go to school or to become a, a model. I don't I don't know what that thing is. But there's something in your heart <clears throat> that somebody in this world needs to see from you because from you for some reason, it'll awaken something in them and give them hope. Oh my gosh, you were so precious and you are, you are so loved. And I know that it can be hard um, if you suffer from anxiety or depression, but there are so many resources available to you. Um, I'm making sure to list a number in this video and um, down below, just call it. Don't do anything permanent. Don't, your family loves you, your friends love you. And if you don't have friends and family that love you and you're all by yourself, there's, there's somebody in this world that needs whatever you have to offer and you just haven't met them yet. Promise me one thing that you will call the number in this video that you will at least try the resources available to you. There is hope. And I promise you that the reason that you want to get rid of yourself is because you just don't want to feel the pain. I know what it feels like to be rejected, to, to lose everything, to have your heart broken, to be frustrated, to have someone betray you, to be used and abused to be let down the agony of that i know what it feels like oh my gosh but all you gotta do is just the best advice that somebody gave me is to just live your life second by second don't think about five years from now don't think about next year don't think about next month don't think about next week don't think about tomorrow don't think about the next hour the next second okay what do i need to do the next second i need to go fix myself something to eat okay go fix yourself something to eat okay the next second what do i need to do put my dishes in the sink the next second what do i need to do i need to go take a shower the next second i need to call the number in this video <laughs> the next second just live your life second by second don't so much think about the big picture we're not thinking about the big picture right now we're thinking about keeping you alive and my, and my little car light just went off but we're thinking about um keeping you alive <clears throat> 
and I'm at the movies um, right now, so I'm gonna turn my car light back on. See me, but um, you are special, you are valuable. Live your life second by second and call the number in this video. Call the number linked in this video and just find what resources avail are available to you. You can type in depression on Instagram and they will, um, something will pop up and it will ask if you want help. So you can do that. There's hope. Um, call a friend or a family member. If you don't have anyone, you can go to the emergency room. Um, you can go to the police station and just tell them where you're at in your heart and mentally and that you need help. You need to be treated and you need to be shown and reminded that life is valuable, that you are precious. And I might not know who you are, but I love you and I think you're awesome. And it might not get better tomorrow and it might not get better in the next few weeks as you rebuild your life, but things will get better. I promise you. I can't tell you how many times I've gone through situations that just seemed hopeless. And I think over those situations <clears throat> and I think how agonizing they were to go through and how badly I wanted those situations to end. And I look back on those situations and day by day, whether the situation got better or not, I got better and I got stronger. And there was a meme that I saw on Instagram not too long ago that said, life doesn't get easier, but you just get stronger. And I know, I know so many times we think, oh my gosh, something else happens. Why do things keep happening? And over time, as you go through these things, you'll get stronger and stronger until not too much can really affect you. But promise me one thing today that you'll call the number in this video. Um, that you'll reach out to someone. That you'll go to the emergency room, police station. Get help. I love you. And you are important. And you are loved.